Greetings and salutations and Oli Oli Oxen Free. I am going to talk about the very subjective subject of introverts. First of all, what is an introvert? According to Google, an introvert is someone who is a shy, reticent and usually self-centered person. Charming. Secondly, a person who predominantly is concerned with their own thoughts and feelings rather than with external things. Now, in comparison, Google says an extrovert is an outgoing, overtly expressive person. Here we go with more ex... with more generalization at work again, isn't it? You take ten different people, you may find similarities between them for introverts and extroverts, but ultimately you will not find them the same. These are very blanket statements. It is a far more reaching subject with greater detail. The world is not black and white. It's shades of grey. And these little definitions are pretty much black and white. So, let us move on to the ten myths and how they relate to me, who could be defined as an ex introvert. First of all, myth one. Introverts do not like to talk. So what the hell am I doing right now? Well, I don't necessarily feel the need to talk a lot. I do feel my need to ramble sometimes. I do like to talk to people. I don't like, as I said, not a lot, but still, every now and again, it's a good to have a good old natter. We are social creatures, after all. If not, we go insane. Myth 2. Introverts are shy. Yes, I can pretty much define myself as shy. I could never really fit in at school. And when talking to people, it takes a bit of a while to get to that bit where you're saying, Hello, or just talk about things, even on Skype and other instant messengers. If you talk to me on there, you know what I'm like. It gets to the point where there's the awkward silence, there's no more topics to talk about. Hence, there. Not just about being shy, it's about having things to talk about. Myth 3, introverts are rude. I go out my way to be nice. Not in nice in general, because I don't see the point of it. Yeah, I will be blunt if I have to. But sometimes you have to be blunt to get your point across. But overly rude? No. I call myself a jackass, but only when people deserve such treatment. So it's all rather subjective. Pretty much like this. Whole subject. Myth 4. Introverts don't like people. Okay, I admit it. This time, this is nearly on the head. I don't like people. I like the person, but not the people. Because when you get, a, get the people... You take an idea, and the idea is that pebble that starts to landslide. People become an average. They become sheep sometimes, who do not seem to comprehend the idea of individualism for ideas, tastes, and all that lot. This will come to a bit of a later myth. Now moving along, myth five: introverts don't like to go out in public. This is sort of true for me because I hate crowds. The louder the crowd, the more I'm comfortable with it. Once upon a time, during my volunteering service, I went to the the a uh, youth person celebration at the Doncaster Earth Centre. God, I was uncomfortable during that. There were so many people. I actually volunteered for this, and ah, and even on buses I get. I just get uncomfortable because we surround all these people. And of course, if they're talking, it's like a mess of all things where so it turns into white static. Yeah, it's not easy for me to be around many people. Small groups, individuals, yeah, that's fine. As I say, I said before, I like the person, not the people. Problem is, the people make up the public. And particularly if you want to go out in town, namely Doncaster. Yes, I'm revealing somewhat where I near live, and I'll tell you where I exactly I live. It's a simple case of, when you're going around in town, you're the one who usually has to get out of the way. It's like a game of pedestrian chicken. Myth 6. Introverts always want to be alone. Bonk em. Well, I do enjoy my alone time. I prefer company that is my chosen company. Unfortunately, I don't get a lot of it. Silver, me mate, mate who I've done a couple of videos with. I only see him, see him once every two weeks. Another mate I haven't seen for God knows how long, who usually came visiting me. I, uh, I prefer the company that I prefer to choose. Unfortunately, in life, you don't get a lot of choice. Or at least in my life. I don't get out a lot. I don't see the people a lot. Yeah. Myth 7. Introverts are weird. Define weird. 
It's a big old generalization that. So let's take an example for me. One of my opinions. If you really enjoy a sport and you consider a fan of it, you should be playing it. Not be sitting on the sofa watching it on TV. People are individuals. What is normal for one person is weird to another. It is another gross exaggeration and generalization that just doesn't work, at least to me. Myth 8, introverts are aloof nerds. Again, generalization upon generalization here. I don't like sports. I don't, that's just me. I like to be, I like to be doing what I want to be doing, which is usually reading on the computer, writing, talking to people when, when I can, being face to face or on the computer. Sports never appealed, never did, never will. You don't need to be an introvert to be this way. A lot of people just do not like to be doing the visual business. business. Why? Myth 9, introverts don't know how to relax and have fun. Once again, bonk em. Busy people don't know how to relax, take time out for themselves. My mother, for example, she doesn't really take a lot of time out for herself. She's always busy, but then this is how she has, has her enjoyment in life. Me? I find me own ways. I read me books, I play me games, I talk to people. This is how I relax, this is how I chill, this is how I have my fun. So yes, myth 9, screw you, you are full of crap. Myth 10, introverts can fix themselves and become extroverts. Really now? This is, a per this is down to personality traits. This is who we are. We cannot just up and change ourselves. This is like asking someone who's very loud, very vocal to be quiet. They just can't seem to do it. Or at least, that is my impression of it. People are people. This is who we are. We can no longer, no more be something else than we can change the colour of our skin just by wishing it. We can force ourselves to be, try to be something else, try to be different, but overall, in our hearts, in our minds, we are what we are. We may not like people, we may not like going outside. Me hell, it might be the complete opposite. We may love being around people, love being, doing the only exercise, watching sports, sports and being all physical and all alike. But as I said before, this is shades of grey. You take, say, about 20 or so extroverts, 20 or so introverts, to, to ask them the same set of questions, the responses shall be different. There will be similarities, because that is the bit of the average, but people are individuals. People seem to forget that. The person, individual, think of their own thoughts, their own opinions. So, this is me, looking forward to really editing this one. Peace out, people.